In this following tutorial, I'll be showing you how to set up Torrents. Torrents is a useful way to download and share uh, programs, games, and other content uh, online. Now, as opposed to using something like uh, the old classic Kazaa that you might know of, or Imish, Morpheus, uh, bear share the list goes on uh, a lot of those programs are becoming less and less common uh, a lot of people have been relying on torrents for downloading certain things mind you that these peer-to-peer -peer programs are supposed to be used for legal use and I am only showing you how to use the program you are responsible for the application software or anything that you transfer download or uh, send using torrents uh, the first thing you want to do in order to uh, you know initially set up torrents is uh, obviously go to the internet there's two uh, there's uh, several websites I'm going to be showing you that I personally recommend that I have a lot of good download speeds from because torrents, mind you, are like I said, are just like those peer-to-peer -peer programs. So when you download something or you share something, it's the same way like it used to be as you know Kazaa or any of those um, downloading applications. It it requires people to share the content in order for you to be able to download it. Uh, what I recommend most co people to use is a program called uTorrent. That's U-T-O-R-R-E-N-T dot com. It's, uh, it's, it's the program that you need in order to download uh, whatever you're going to download. So in a case, uh, uTorrent is equivalent to something like BearShare or iMesh or any of the other peer-to-peer -peer programs. It's a free download, mind you, everything I'm showing you is free. So you simply just want to go ahead and download the uTorrent. Um, I find that uTorrent usually gives me the best speeds, in my opinion. Uh, there are other uh, torrent downloading clients out there. If you look for BitTorrent clients, if you do a Google on that, you'll find plenty others out there on the web. Once you download it, just go ahead and install. Oops, just go ahead and install the, the uh, uTorrent application. Um, it's very quick and simple. Um, it'll give you some information, you know, you can read it if you want, and the license agreement, so on and so forth. Uh, once we're done here, we definitely want to make sure we leave these check marks on here for the Windows Firewall. So if you do use a Windows Firewall, this will uh, create an exception, and what the exception is, it, it simply uh, configures uTorrent to work around your firewall so that way it doesn't block through your firewall because having a block on your uh, uTorrent can cause the speeds to degrade and take forever to download things. Um, I don't recommend people to leave the second check mark on which says you know start uTorrent when Windows starts up. Um, I'm kind of I'm a little anal when it comes to having applications running when I first boot up the system because it just slows down the boot time. So it's up to you if you use it on a daily basis and you really want it to be where you know you turn on your computer and right away it starts downloading. You can go ahead and check that. Um, otherwise, if you just use it, uh, you know, periodically, you might want to take that check mark off. Uh, here's another thing I don't recommend uh, unless you really like toolbars all over your internet and you know that's another thing that will slow down your uh, internet browser from running fast when you first open it up. I usually recommend taking these three check marks off. So once we go through all of that, um, it will automatically launch the uTorrent application. You'll see here it's very simple, very basic, doesn't really show much on it. What we want to do when we first run the uTorrent application, um, I usually recommend people to go into the options and just kind of look over the options, you know, some things you might know or recognize you might want to change for example where it's saving your downloads you can modify where it saves everything you download um, not that you have to if you leave it where as it, as it is currently it will put it into a download folder which is usually on Windows 7 base machines if you go to your main um, your your name which it is your uh, like your links or your shortcuts to all your common places, your downloads is where it will save it. Connection tab um, kind of gives you, you know, UPnP port mapping. I've heard different opinions on these two options, the NAT PMP and the UPnP. I've heard opinions that taking these check marks off helps speed up 
their uh, torrents downloading and uh, I've heard others say it doesn't so you might want to mess around with that a little bit uh, see if you know having them off helps speed up your torrents or having the check marks on speeds it up and it kind of depends on your connection you know uh, what your ISP has configured on on their server side data centers with bandwidth depending on if you know about this stuff go ahead and set it um, if you don't I guess it'd be best to you know leave it at what it's at so in a sense when I and I know for some of you you're probably getting scared as I keep saying the word sharing uh, when you use torrents you have to share okay I, I there's no way I mean you can limit the amount of uploads which is sharing so if we go down a little bit we'll see here it says uh, the number of upload slots per torrent we can set that to zero that means no one that means you can't share to anyone if you do that uh, torrents work off of what they consider a ratio however much and you'll see that on on the main window of uTorrent where it says ratio that means however much you're sharing is how much you're gonna get back now you always get more you always download faster than you can send so the more you're sending the faster your download is gonna go proportionally um, so for some people they actually I've heard that for some people that don't even share at all they still get faster torrents now in my opinion in my experience I've always had to have a little bit of upload available on sharing because anytime I end up modifying these numbers and I don't share at all I notice that my torrents go very very slow because uh, torrents are they are, the community in torrents is very um, they really promote and encourage people to share because you know if it wasn't for people sharing how would we be able to download it to begin with so it's up to you if you really want to share um, mind you what you download is your responsibility. Uh, for the BitTorrent area, all these settings can stay to fault. Your transfer cap, if you know about these settings, again, you can go ahead and set that. If you don't, you don't need caps unless you're on a, for some people that are on like satellite internet, uh, they have a certain limit of how much they can download or upload. So they might want to set this, you know, um, so that way you don't go over your limits and then your internet gets cut off. For queuing, um, I always recommend the queues to be set to one. Okay, um, it, it's your, it's your, it's your choice. Okay, what this will do is if I set this to a maximum number of active torrents and downloads to one. That means I can only download one thing at a time. Um, I could split this up and I could set it to five, which means I could download five things at a time. But you have to remember that your internet connection is going to be split up in between those five downloads, meaning that it's going to take twice as long for all the downloads to finish, but they're all going to finish at one. If I set this to one, it's going to download each thing one at a time and finish it faster. So in my opinion, I like doing that because let's say if you're downloading uh, uh, several things like a, a trailer and you're downloading a game demo the trailer will finish you'll be able to watch the trailer and then you know fiddle with the game de uh, demo after it finishes see if I set it where it's doing multiple downloads the trailer might not finish until the game demo finishes so they'll finish at the same time it'll just take longer for them to finish with the scheduler uh, this is if you want to use a, you know, a schedule on what your speeds are and limit them at certain times of the day. Uh, for some people, you know, if you come home and you don't want your internet to run slow because torrents tend to slug your internet a little bit, you might want to set the schedule so that your torrents are not downloading during those times of the day. Um, and then you could set it where the times in the middle of the night, the speed goes back up so that way you're downloading at the full speed of your connection. Uh, so that way, you know, you're getting your downloads done, done as fast as possible. Um, the web UI, uh, f again, this is for those who are savvy. Uh, this is good for people that travel and they want to be able to monitor their uh, downloads from, you know, a hotel or remote location. Here's another thing you might want to do as well as in the preferences set in the uh, UI settings, set it to minimize the tray. Uh, that way when you minimize uTorrent it actually minimizes to your taskbar so that way it's not staying on your toolbar. So once we've done all that we can go ahead and apply these settings. Everything is good to go.
we just need to find some torrents now I will show you the website that I recommend uh, for torrents torrents.com that's t-o-r-r-e-e-n-t-z as in zebra so not with an s but with a z torrents.com I, I tend to get a, uh, pretty good results with um, so let's say for example we wanted to check out the new Halo Reach trailer um, as you can see here not many results at all uh, the first one is more than likely the good result you, you also have to be careful make sure that you do have a good antivirus program before messing with torrents or else you can find yourself in a world of hurting with viruses and I mean tons of viruses um, but as we can see here if I look at this first one here Halo Reach trailer I'll notice that it shows here in it shows a green zero and a blue six uh, the green zero let me just make sure I've got this correct and I'm going to give the incorrect information. The green zero is how many people are downloading it and the blue number is how many people are sharing it. So you want those numbers to be higher. So, I'm trying to think of an example. Open Office. Open Office is a free program that allows you to, uh, it's a free version of, it's like Microsoft Office but a free version of it. Uh, so we can see here uh, for this one, this first one here, I'm obviously not going to choose because it says Russian on it, so it's probably in Russian language. But the second one is probably is English. Uh, this one was posted a year ago. It shows its size and how many people are sharing it and uh, seeding it. So we'll go ahead and choose that one. And uh, we'll see here. Um, it gives me a list of uh, links. These are uh, the sites that are sharing this torrent. I usually recommend people to use the Pirate Bay uh, as a good one, but in a sense, uh, any of them should do. So we'll go ahead and select. Never use the direct download or Usenet download. Definitely don't use those. Those are sponsored links. It takes you to t different websites and takes you way in the wrong direction, probably even spyware. But we'll choose, you know, just choose the first one that shows, uh, you know, the little icon next to it. Um, so we'll choose that. It's going to take me to another website, preferably piratebay.org. And here's the torrent. It gives me a bunch of information pertaining to this. Uh, never be fooled by this advertisement that says download in a big green button. That is not to download it. Neither is this corner here that says in this big red button download or play now. These are just advertisements. If you click this, it's going to take you to a totally different website, nothing relating to what we're downloading. What you want to download is the torrent itself. Always look for the link that says, you know, something like download this torrent or, you know, download torrent in a sense. So we'll go ahead and choose that. Of course, it's going to say, you know, do we want to open this with uTorrent? Of course. Now, you'll get this box. This is the, uh, you know, it's letting me know that it's going to save it in my downloads folder. It's letting me know what it's going to be named in the downloads folder. You can leave all the settings default. Uh, what I usually recommend is to click on the advanced button. In here, you'll see a list of what they call trackers. I usually delete these. Go back to the torrent website. Now, you'll notice these links here this list of links and if you read underneath the list of links it'll say here this list is this lists all the active trackers for this torrent blah 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 and it'll say here you can get a uTorrent compatible list here this will speed up your download we want to do that so click on that uTorrent compatible list you'll see this list of uh, trackers go ahead and highlight these go back to your uTorrent program and paste it in this trackers box just like that you make sure they are spaced in between each one it'll tell you right here separate tiers with an empty line or else it won't detect them once we do that go ahead and click OK go ahead and click OK again and you know you always have to give torrents a little bit of a little bit of a few minutes to you know kick up in speed sometimes even hours before they kick up in speed I've download things where you know it'll say you know 10 hours remaining 12 hours, 12 hours remaining and then I wake up and it finished in a you know a six to eight hour span so it just depends on the resources I always recommend that once they've finished go ahead and remove them from this list do not remove the torrent and data or the data that will delete what you want you just want to delete just the torrent so usually just choose remove and it'll ask you are you sure you want to remove the selected torrent choose yes. Usually that'll help speed up the downloads and keep this list clean.
That's pretty much it. Thanks for visiting tutguy.com. Be sure to visit uh, for further tutorials, reviews, and uh, walkthroughs, and have a good one.